Everything I thought I knew about Simu's setup and optimization was wrong. I was wrong about VSync. I was wrong about Windows paging file. I was wrong about Thread Quantum. Our pets' heads are falling off! I've made all of the corrections, and today you'll be getting the setup and optimization guide you deserve. I research so you don't have to. Stick around. Guess who's back? Back again. Hey, everybody. So I was catching up on responding to comments when I came across a comment on a Simu setup guide I released a while back. The comment mentioned that it's pointless to enable triple buffering if VSync is disabled. My first thought was, that can't be right. Some of the biggest Simu guides on YouTube recommend enabling triple buffering and not enabling VSync. So I dug deeper. Long story short, they were 100% correct. I was mortified. I had just released an updated guide and it had bad information. So I immediately pulled down my guide and began fact checking my other points. The result of that research is contained in this guide. So I'm redubbing it the complete and correct setup and optimization guide. All right, enough backstory. Let's get you set up and optimized. There are multiple ways to update Simu. The easiest is to open Simu, navigate to the help menu and select check for updates. As you can see, as of this video, I have the latest version, so there's nothing to update. Another way to update is to download fresh files from the Simu website. Just click the download link at the bottom of the page. Once Simu is downloaded, open the zip file and drag over the contents into a directory of your choice. and you are done with installation. Before we even open Simu for the first time, number one, as always, update your GPU drivers. Now that that's out of the way, let's adjust our compatibility settings. Right-click your Simu.exe file and select Properties. Now, navigate to the Compatibility tab. Check Run this program as an administrator and Disable full screen optimizations. Next, click on Change high DPI settings. Check both boxes in this menu and click OK. Now we're done with compatibility settings. Now we're going to change some GPU settings. Right click anywhere on your desktop background and select NVIDIA Control Panel. Once here, we're going to select Use Advanced 3D Image Settings. Now we can click Take Me There, which will bring us to Manage 3D Settings. Now click on the Program Settings tab. If Simu is not already in your list of available apps, you'll need to click Add and navigate to the Simu.exe file we installed earlier. Now we're going to make the following changes. Set OpenGL Rendering GPU to your graphics card. Set Power Management Mode to prefer maximum performance. Set Threaded Optimization to On. Set Triple Buffering to On. Set Vertical Sync to On. Now click Apply and we are done with GPU settings. Now let's set our page file. This section will only apply to you if you use OpenGL, you have less than 8 gigabytes of RAM, or less than 120 gigabytes of hard drive space, and you are experiencing random CMU crashes. For everyone else, there's no benefit in manually adjusting the page file. Open Windows Search and type in Performance. Now select Adjust the Appearance and Performance of Windows. Now click on the Advanced tab. Now under Virtual Memory, click on Change. If you've never been to the virtual memory screen before, you'll notice the options are grayed out. Deselect automatically manage paging file size for all drives. This will enable the options. Now click on custom size. Set this to 16,000 megabytes, which equates to 16 gigabytes. There are rules to this, so if you want to know more about it, feel free to leave a comment. Note this will use 16 gigabytes of hard drive space. After setting your paging file and clicking OK, Windows will prompt you to restart. Now we're done with setting up the paging file. Now we'll adjust some CPU settings. 
First, bring up Windows settings by clicking the Windows button on your keyboard plus I. Now select System, then Power and Sleep, then Additional Power Settings. Here, we're going to check on High Performance, then go to Change Plan Settings. Now click on Change Advanced Power Settings. Now we'll just confirm our minimum and maximum processor state is set to 100%. Looks good. Now we're done with CPU settings. We are now ready to open Simu for the first time. I'd highly advise you to set a custom MLC path. Now let's set our games path. Remember to select the folder that contains your games, not an individual game. Now we'll download our community graphics packs. Click Next. I like to click on Automatically Check for Updates, but you don't have to. As you can see, we're able to configure our inputs right from this dialog, but I'll go ahead and do it in the general settings. Now click close. For those of you that don't know, Simu now comes with an experimental feature that dramatically decreases stutter in Vulkan. I talk all about it in this video. I didn't want to include it in this guide because the devs consider it to be more of a hack or a workaround, but it's definitely worth checking out if you're experiencing stutter as you're building your shader cache. Link at the top and in the description. All right, let's move over to general settings. Under options, click on general settings. Now let's move over to the graphics tab. Under graphics API, select OpenGL if you have an Nvidia card and Vulkan for everything else. You might have seen some guides that tell you to leave this disabled, but under most circumstances, VSync should always be enabled. Now under upscale filter, set it to bilinear. Now let's move over to the audio tab. Under general API, change it from direct sound to X audio 2. If you're experiencing crackles or pops in games, it may be solved by adjusting latency here. Finally under TV, change the device to your main sound card and set channel to surround. Do the same for your gamepad. And we're done with general settings. Now let's set up our inputs. I'll walk you through setting up a PS4 controller with the new DSU client, and then I'll show you how to set up your Xbox controller. Connecting your PS4 controller and the new DSU client. This assumes you have DS for Windows and your PS4 controller connected to your PC. In DS for Windows, click on the Settings tab, then make sure UDP Server is enabled. Now click on Start. In Simu, click on Input Settings. Choose the controller you want to emulate. Then under Controller API, select DSU Client. If you set up your server correctly, you'll see Client 1 as an option under Controller. Now just set your buttons as you normally would. Now you can save your configuration. Give it a name that's meaningful. Now save it and we're done with input setup. Setting up your Xbox controller. First, we'll navigate to Input Settings by going to Options, then Input Settings. Next, under Emulate Controller, we'll select the controller we want to emulate. Under Controller API, select X Input. Then, under Controller, select Controller 1. Now, we'll set our buttons. Now, you can save your configuration. Give it a name that's meaningful. Now, save it, and we're done with Input Setup. Now we'll set up our graphic packs. For this example, we'll use Breath of the Wild. Right click on a game and select Edit Graphic Packs.
Now under Enhancements, select Clarity. Under Graphics, select Resolution and set it to your desired resolution. Do the same for Shadow Resolution. I set mine to Medium. Next, under FPS++, check all the boxes in this area. Finally, under Workarounds, select the options appropriate for your graphics card. Since I have NVIDIA, I'll select the NVIDIA options. As a rule, OpenGL applies to NVIDIA, while Vulkan applies to everything else. And we are done with Graphic Pack Setup. Now let's set up our multi-core recompilers. Right-click a game and go to Edit Game Profile. Since my CPU has four cores, I'll want to set Dual Core Recompiler. Here's the part where, in previous guides, I'd recommend changing Thread Quantum to 100,000, but truthfully, it has essentially zero impact on performance. So in this guide and in future guides, I'm leaving that out. If you're not sure how many cores you have, you can press Control shift escape to bring up the Task Manager. Once in the Task Manager, click on the Performance tab. In the lower right, it'll show you how many cores you have. Now use this guide to determine what you should set your multi-compiler to. Now for the final section of the guide, Updates and DLC. To install an update or a DLC, go to File, then Install Game Update or DLC. We'll start with an update. Navigate to where you have your updates. Go inside the file, go into the Meta folder, and select meta.xml. Now we'll do the same thing for DLC. And that's it. Well guys, we covered a lot here and I hope you found what you're looking for. If you have a setup question that was not covered here, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to answer and make sure it's covered in my next setup guide. Thanks for watching guys, and remember,